all right we're gonna make a very simple computer network today we are gonna connect a macbook to a windows desktop using ethernet cable i used mac and windows at the same time because i wanted to highlight the networking settings for both operating systems if you have two windows computers two mac or maybe more than two computers this video will still apply now let's take a look at the hardware that we are gonna need of course you need two computers uh, mac or windows but you're also going to need a switch now you may not have a network switch at home but most of you should already have a wireless router and most of these wireless router they come with a built-in switch at the back so you can see these four yellow colored ethernet ports and those can be used to build a local area network or lan i'm going to use this router today to show you how to build a simple network will use more advanced switches in the future we're also going to need this ethernet cable or patch cable to connect the computers to the switch you can get this from amazon or walmart or you could also make one and another uh, small detail is we're using the dhcp protocol today what basically that means is we're using automatic ip configuration so it's going to be very easy to build the network so let's go ahead and see our actual hardware and how we are going to connect those two computers. So this is my Ethernet cable. Uh, these two, the one is CAT5 and CAT6. I'm also going to use an adapter to connect uh, to my MacBook because of course it doesn't come with an Ethernet port. So I'm going to use this USB-C to Ethernet converter. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, my desktop already has a couple of ethernet ports i could use either one of those and finally this is the wireless router i told you about this is a pretty old router but for our application today this will work just fine so the ports one through four those are my ethernet ports do not use the internet port use the others you may have more than four or maybe a couple of ports in your own router now to connect the devices, uh, I'm gonna just simply put the Ethernet connector, this is RJ45 to the port and then put the other end of the cable to the switch. And I'm gonna do the same thing for my Windows computer. Sorry for the shaky video, I'm just holding it with one hand. So after you are connected, after you have connected the cable, you can see these small LED is blinking. So that means the cables are connected and we are good to go. So the next step is going to be configuring the network using going to the computer. I'm going to start with Windows and then Mac. I'm using Windows 11, but the process will be the same for Windows 10. Now right click on the start menu icon and go to settings and then go to network and internet you should see an ethernet network here click on that go to properties and what you should see already is there's an ipv4 address already assigned to your computer this was because we set the ip address to dhcp if this is not set to automatic or dhcp please click on edit and select automatic or dhcp that means you are getting the IP address automatically assigned to your computer from the router. Let's go to Macbook, Settings, and then go to Network. Now, I see this weird name here. This is not Ethernet, but that's my USB-C connector. Now, you should see an IP address uh, already here, 192.168.1.32 and this is the similar ip address that we received from the router now let's try to ping our windows computer from this device simply type ping and the ip address should be your windows computer's ip so 192.168.1.29 so that's our windows computer now you can see the ping is failing this is because windows by default has some security measures enabled so you can't find the computers we have to disable those 
so we can see the computer on our network so let's go ahead and do that i'm gonna go back to my windows pc and change those settings right click on the start menu icon and go to settings and then network and internet and at the bottom select advanced network settings then select advanced sharing setting turn both network discovery and file and printer sharing to on position this will allow other computers to see this pc now let's try the same ping from macbook and see if we can get a response this time and yeah we can see that we are getting that ping reply from our windows computer so do the same thing on the windows pc see if we can ping our macbook so right click on the start menu open the command prompt and type in ping and the ip address of your macbook and yes we can get the ping reply from the macbook as well so both computers can see each other and the network is fully functional you can start to play games or maybe do file sharing thank you and if you found the video helpful please like and subscribe